I'd like to congratulate you on taking your first step on the journey towards becoming a rugby league match official. Whether you're a former player, a fan of the sport, or simply looking for a new challenge in life, being a referee can be a rewarding experience and one I'm sure you won't regret. There are many rewards and opportunities for those that excel. And just like players, hard work and talent play a big part in your success. There are many benefits of being a referee, including the unexpected benefit of making lifelong friends. Through joining an association and representative honours, I've been able to make new friends along the way. Refereeing also provides an opportunity to earn extra money. While financial incentives aren't the primary factor in becoming a referee, you can receive payments for club games you're appointed to. Most importantly, it's fun and keeps you fit. As a referee, there are pathways to national, international and NRL representation, just like players. For those that are serious and wish to pursue national honours, the vocational and educational pathways are clearly outlined on the New Zealand Rugby League website. Or contact your local association, zone coach or national manager. These pathways can even lead to overseas travel, representing local associations or New Zealand. I've been lucky enough to travel to the UK, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Rarotonga and Australia on countless occasions. A referee has many hats to wear on the field, but the number one consideration is player safety. A referee maintains safety through ensuring the grounds are fit for play. Goalposts have pads, players' mouthguards are checked, the duty of care with injured and concussed players is followed, appropriate rules are applied, and foul play is dealt with appropriately. Remember, mouthguards are also compulsory under New Zealand Rugby League international law. The best referees aren't just competent in the role, they're consistent and have excellent communication skills. A critical component to becoming a referee is knowing the rules and applying the laws and interpretations. To apply the rules, you must have the knowledge. Firstly, learn the rules, adapt to different grades, and make the rulebook and guidelines your best friend. Once the fundamental laws and safety requirements are covered, successful referees must demonstrate commitment. Refereeing is a sport, and to progress and succeed requires commitment. This means working on all pillars of refereeing, being prepared to learn, and turning up to meetings and appointments. Often, the best communicators are considered the best referees. This includes verbal and non-verbal communication, such as signals and whistles. A referee should aim to demonstrate a positive attitude, present themselves neatly and tidily, act appropriately and at all times display respect to all. Get your head in seconds. Uh, wait there half, hold for me. Your okay, voice is the most powerful and most important tool. Help. We look to use our voice so we can avoid overblowing the whistle, ensuring a free-flowing game. Please call the tackle count after every tackle. Whistles and signals are the non-verbal communication to everyone participating or watching the game. They let players and spectators know what is happening and, like everything, require practice. Let's take a look at some of the fundamental whistles and signals. Long whistle tones are used for kickoffs, penalties, and tries. Short whistle tones are used for minor infringements such as knock ons and forward passes. Now let's take a look at some basic signals and whistles. Fitness training, drills and skill development are becoming an increasingly important part of referee development. Referee training should simulate the energy systems, movements and patterns performed in the game. We will now demonstrate three fundamental referee drills. The first drill we're going to look at is the 20s. Referees will perform 20 metre shuttles in sets ranging from 2 to 12, with a rest of 15 seconds between each shuttle. This continues for between 6 and 10 minutes. Go. Run throughs. Referees simulate acceleration through running at 50% through 0 to 20 metres, accelerating to 70% between 20 and 40 metres, and moving to 90% of maximum between the last 40 and 60 metres. They then return jog to the start and repeat. The last drill is our hundreds. 
simulating shuttles and angled running moving up the field. Remember, all training should be supported through dynamic warm-ups and static stretching at the end. Positioning gives you credibility. It puts you in the best spot to make the correct decision. So we are going to take you through some basic positioning guidelines to help get you started. For a kickoff, stand on the opposite side to where the ball is being kicked, between the 20 and 10 metre lines. Ensure that you position yourself so that you are able to see all players are onside. Move with urgency so as to have good sight on the first contact. Ensure that both touch judges are in position before you allow the kickoff to proceed. In general play, stand 10 metres back from the play the ball and with width so as to have a clear view of the play the ball region and the defensive line and so that you don't interfere with play. Try to position yourself on the open side of the play the ball to ensure best visibility. Move forward when they play the ball. Penalty kick. Use a strong well, whistle. Got to be the penalty signal is with a straight arm. Move to the mark. Signal the reason for the penalty. Give clear communication which reflects the decision. Ensure that all players are onside. Stand on the open side of the kicker. Move forward once the ball has been kicked, but do not get too far ahead of the kicker as you may cause interference. A scrum is set at the point of the infringement. However, must be a minimum of 20 metres infield and 10 metres out from the try line. Stand on the blind side of the scrum. Position the defensive halfback behind the last row of forwards. Okay, Ensure that the sorry. scrum is packed Chicken's properly up, with up. hooker's arms over the top of the suits? props. Outside foot of the loose head prop is forward and all forwards are bound and set. Uh, wait there, half, hold for me. Once this is okay, done, you out. may allow the halfback to feed the scrum. Help! Call out once the ball emerges from the scrum. A major role of the referee is to maintain player safety. This includes managing on-field behaviour. Remember, you are the adjudicator and sole judge of fact and must not accept illegal play as foul play. Misconduct is classified as deliberate, dangerous, careless, 